everyone, how's it going? I have a 10,000 watt unit here. This is a power jack 10 kilowatt inverter. It's kind of the, uh, the little brother of the 15 kilowatt inverter. And I've been asked several times about these things, um, you know, what's inside and what kind of parts they use, et cetera, et cetera. This particular one happened to come to me because the, uh, the customer said that it would turn on and then there'd be a click sound and then it would turn off. So I went ahead and repaired it. As it turns out, the only thing that was wrong with it was this low frequency driver. You can see where the caps actually popped right off of it. It looks like it was dropped. This chip is off, so I ended up replacing it with a brand new one. Now the unit is testing and working just fine. It just needs to be cleaned up and put back together. But um, I have been getting asked about these particular inverters, um, the difference between these and the the, the big 15 kilowatt units. Um, obviously, from this standpoint, they actually use a similar uh transformer this transformer here is actually very close to the 15 kilowatt units it's just a tad smaller uh so you are getting a similarly sized um transformer you'll also notice that they are using thicker wire now this is a suggestion that i had all the way back uh probably about a year ago um i suggested that they start using some thicker wire because you're talking about an enormous amount of uh, amperage going through what used to be the smaller wires. In fact, here's um, those wires right there. There's a bundle of them right there. They're actually smaller than this. I believe this is 10, and you've got 12 back here. So they did up it a little bit because there's an awful lot of electricity, 10 kilowatts, going through these three wires here. So they did beef that up a little bit, but... Uh, that's for all the inverters going forward, not just this particular inverter. Um, for the main board, they have just a single main board. Uh, the 15 kilowatt units have two main boards. These have just one. So that's really the main difference between the two, is you only get one main board here. Now what exactly does that mean when you only get one main board? Well, that essentially lowers your surge capabilities. And the, uh, the inverter still has a pretty good output. Uh, but with two main boards, you get double the surge. Um, the surge is longer, that is. Okay? You, can, you can take more of a surge for longer with two boards versus one because of these MOSFETs here. The MOSFETs can only take so much, and then they'll obviously explode on you. So when you have uh, four sets versus eight sets your surge isn't going to be as high um the transformer again is the same so your your continuous output is actually right about the same uh but you will get more surge out of these uh with two main boards versus just one main board so that is a weakness of this particular one and that's not a really a big deal unless you're really cranking it this is a whole house inverter it is designed as a whole house inverter but it's designed for those who don't need to run things like their central air, um, the the really heavy draws. Uh, I I have tested this with a electric stove, and yes, it will run an electric stove. However, you need a battery bank that is massive. Uh, but it's that surge that is really the weakness of this particular one. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. It's got the same control board here. You can see here it's all the same. And you do have two fans back here uh, versus three on the big one. They are 24-volt fans or 48 volts. You can get this in a 48 volt. But you can see the front end is actually pretty much identical. Um, obviously, the panel on the 15 kilowatt is going to be longer, but you get the exact same front end here. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, this unit does draw 1.4 amps that would be at 20 let's see let's bring it down so 24 volts if your battery gets that low which it shouldn't 
you're drawing 1.2 amps. You bring it up to typically where my batteries are around 25 to 26 volts. So you're looking at about 1.4 amps. That's with the fans off. Turning the fans on. You're looking at about 2 amps. That's both fans running at the same time. That is the standby loss. I have nothing plugged into this. So you're looking at 2 amps, uh, approximately 2 amps, uh, at 26 volts. So be aware of that, that when you have this thing running full time with the fans on, that is your standby loss. Now I found these things to be very efficient actually, uh, surprisingly efficient, right around the 92% efficiency. I think PowerJack lists these as being around 89 to 90%. Uh, of course I don't have exact science tools, just based on clamp meters and kilowatt meters and whatever to get the conversion and I think it's better than 90% so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it for this one they are cheaper you're gonna save about three four hundred dollars I believe on these because the the big boy is I believe right around eleven to twelve hundred and I think this one's selling for about eight hundred ninety nine dollars maybe but um, yeah it's um it's a pretty good unit it really is um if you can't shell out the money for the biggest one or don't plan on running your central air or any uh enormous surge load and high continuous load i definitely would recommend getting this it's definitely much better than the eight kilowatt units um it is heavy duty that transformer can handle a lot more amperage versus the transformers that are in the eight kilowatt units so you are getting a much better inverter. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you need support on PowerJack units, let me know. I can get you in touch with those who can get you parts or service. And anything else you might need or are interested in purchasing one of these yourself, you can always hit me up and I will help you pick out the one that you need. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.